Gauteng Education MEC Panyazala Sufi is currently locked in a meeting with a delegation from Pretoria High School for Girls and some parents. This follows reports of racism at the school over the weekend. The Sufi arrived just after 10 o'clock this morning, accompanied by officials of the National Department of Basic Education and district officials. On his arrival, pupils were chanting freedom songs and screaming for help. During the meeting, one pupil alleged that a teacher had called them monkeys in front of other pupils, saying that they should cut their hair or have it straightened as they looked untidy. That prompted a march to the school last Friday by a group of girls. Meanwhile, students from the University of Pretoria are toy-toying outside the school premises, pledging their support. A large contingency of police is also keeping a close eye on developments. Well, we're joined now by our reporter Molema Waone Motua, who's at uh, the Pretoria Girls High School. Molema, very good afternoon to you. Uh, so the minister has met with some of the girls and there have been some startling revelations. Take us through what was said earlier. Afternoon, Natasha. Um, the situation actually now is somewhat uh, tense outside the school's premises um, with uh, students from the University of uh, Pretoria doing, uh, wielding um, placards uh, which condemn racism in the school as well as uh, in the country. But there's a larger uh, contingency of uh, police outside who are uh, keeping a watchful eye and uh, a while ago as well there was a, a police chopper um, which was hovering above in the vicinity of the area where the school is um, right now the MEC is still locked in a meeting uh, with uh, uh, officials of the National Department of Basic Education some district officials parents uh, 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 as well as uh, uh, some of the school's uh, representatives uh, we have uh, earlier uh, tried to speak to some of the some of the girls uh, who uh, claim to, to have been uh, subjected under this uh, racial comments and what we've heard is that um, they've been told to to, to, to to straighten their hair they've been told uh, that uh, they look like a, a sheep they've been told that uh, they, they look like uh, monkeys and we actually are now here I'm, I'm actually in a, 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 I'm here now with the, the acting spokesperson for the MEC to tell us exactly what has been discussed since uh, the meeting started about uh, uh, more than an hour ago. Mr. Budibe, can you just tell us as to what really prompted the, 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 the MEC to have this meeting today with the learners? Thank you. Uh, the MEC received a petition from the learners or some of the learners but you'll also note that there's a campaign that's trending on social media that was started by some of the learners and some of the ex-learners uh, basically complaining about victimiz uh, racial victimization and the school uh, code of conduct in relation to hairstyles and MEC decided to come here so that he can get the facts for himself so he's been locked in meetings as you said to, with the learners earlier in the, in the morning to hear their testimonies and, and uh, he then invited the management of the school into the meeting to also hear the first-hand account from the learners and, and he's also now uh, getting responses from some of the parents and other political organizations that has seen come to the school. But is it only about them being uh, uh, told to straighten their hair, being told they look like uh, monkeys and all that? What are some of the uh, uh, concerns that they've raised with him? I must say, and this is quite disturbing because the, children, the, the girls are very traumatized and they list the litany of what they perceive to be racial uh, profiling and victimization by teachers and also when they go to excursions so they feel like they are being discriminated on the basis of their race uh, comments that are being passed and two when they make uh, they present their own case they are told that in fact they are practicing racism in reverse so they sense that there is no tolerance for the they feel that they have not been tolerated at the school and um, the, the tipping point is obviously around the issue of hairstyles and from what they've uh, told the MEC, how do they want this uh, situation to be resolved? Because uh, we also understand that they've uh, taken this to some of the uh, senior officials of the school, but 
um, their concerns have just fallen on deaf ears? Well, they, they propose that all the teachers that have been implicated should be investigated and that uh, some kind of disciplinary action should be taken against them. Secondly, they, they suggest that the school policy be changed, uh, the school code of conduct, especially when it comes to issues of hairstyle. And having a look at the actual uh, uh, <coughs> document, on, on paper it doesn't seem to be exclusionary, but it's, it's mainly, at, I think, how people interpret it, but I think it's also about how other people understand black hair and how you can you have to accommodate it and so it's something of a uh, cultural uh, and and i think uh, <clears throat> uh, conflict here at the school and but also there's some overt racist statements that are being uttered and we want to get to the bottom of this the MEC is still engaged with the, uh, the learners. Is he, is he going to also meet with the school governing body? He certainly is going to meet with the, first the school management and the chairperson of the school governing body is actually here, but he would also like to meet with the entire school governing body. So for now it has not been uh, concluded as to uh, exactly um, what, 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 how the issues are going to be uh, handled? No, certainly, because I remember MEC is still hearing all sides and he'll make a pronouncement about the way forward. But let me just hasten to say that obviously we'll have to get to the bottom of all these allegations. And, and so the department might actually, what's available to the department as an option, it might actually have to institute a formal investigation and, and, and take it from there. Okay. Um, there is an acting spokesperson for the MEC for Education in Gauteng, Panyazali Sufi. Back to the studio.